Well, hey friends, I am sitting in my homeschool room. I call it our classroom. I know some people like to think of the world as their classroom, and I do too, but we actually have a space in our home that we have dedicated our classroom. And um, it's a sacrifice to have this space, to be perfectly honest, a big sacrifice. Um, but truth be told, I have no idea where we would put all of this stuff in our teeny tiny house if we didn't have this room. And this room also serves as my office, so yeah. <laughs> Um, anyways, it's a hot mess. It is crazy messy, and I'm going to share it with you. Yep, I'm putting this mess out on the internet because it needs to get tidied and cleaned, and it needs to get organized, and I have got all kinds of things that need to, um, find a new home because I've done homeschool shopping, uh, I have curriculum. I have old resources and I have all the things in this room that need to be taken care of. And it's a small space, so <laughs> a few new things make it really look like it's an explosion. And I have a lot of new things, so um, yeah. And in some ways, I actually have to make this room a bit more functional because we've got a lot more stuff, like books and um, resources and things. Colt is officially homeschooling with us this year. Um, if he were going to public school, he'd be starting his first year of kindergarten in Ontario. I think it's in all of Canada, but I hesitate to make the generalization because I'm not 100%, but fairly certain. Um, they have two years of kindergarten. They have JK and SK. Basically, it's junior kindergarten and senior kindergarten. Um, kids can start, they have to be four by December 31st. So Aubrey started, her birthday is December 20th, so we started her in September, um, basically at three and a half. So Colt missed that cutoff date, um, so he would technically just be starting his SK year at going, like he'll be four and a half going on five. So we kind of um, just decided to not do any formal schooling with him up until this year. So um, he is going to start, and we're really excited. So. He's going to be with us, like, throughout the day in this room. And he was last year. I mean, he's he was three, so he had to be hanging around us. But um, now we really need to make space for him and make space for his curriculum and all the things. So I'm going to show you. Don't judge me, please. <laughs> um, it's crazy messy. But by the end, it will be nice. So I know this is going to take place over a series of days, maybe even week or two. <laughs> um, but yeah. Okay. You ready? I'm not, but here we go. Okay. So I'm sitting at the table and I just filmed everything that was in our morning basket. So all of those supplies are here on the table. Um, I just printed these resources here. These are some learning games for Colt. So I need to laminate these tonight. So I'm going to sit them. Oh, <laughs> nowhere safe. <laughs> there. Um, so this is our dresser. I wish it actually fit in a bedroom, um, but it doesn't. It's huge. This is the Ikea, I don't know how to say it, I call it Hemmins, um, dresser, but it's enormous and it won't fit in our tiny bedroom. So it's in the classroom. It holds all sorts of supplies. I have a link, I'll have a link to our homeschool room tour and I show you everything that's in the dresser there. Um, but yeah, lots of a lot of this is recycling and garbage. Um, this bulletin board, we took that down. It had been on the wall. This is our reading corner that's a bit of a mess. Um, all the stuff here on the table that needs a home. My laminator that I'm going to use later tonight. I've been using it like crazy lately. These are a bunch of books. Uh, most that I got at the thrift store, the top one. Uh, will be our new devotional book for this upcoming year. So I'm planning to do a homeschool haul um, to share with you all of our new resources and whatnot. So that's why this stuff hasn't really been put away yet. So here's my desk covered in important papers and a big Jaglindis mess. And then down below is all of my homeschool stuff. I did like a big shop and it's all here. This box has our curriculum in it. And 
and yaya's. Yeah so, just things askew and a mess and papers that need, I don't even know what those are, in binders, I think. Um, this big cardboard thing. So this is like a an art center type thing that needs to go up on the wall. <sighs> I think I'm going to put it in this space right here. I really hesitate putting things on the wall because I'm the type of person that's like, oh, I don't know. What if we move it around? Or what if the room moves around? But it needs out. So I'm thinking that's where it's going to go. And then lastly, I'll show you the floor over here. This is my children's mess. Um, the Legos. They are like obsessed with Legos. And the Legos are all over the floor. And that box has resources and home decor and things I just don't have a home for. So life has exploded, y'all. And I'm going to go ahead and try and get it all tidied up. Hey guys, it's the next day and I'm back in my classroom and I'm going to attempt to do some organization. Um, I'm kind of not feeling it a little bit. Like I just, I want it done because there's no space to move. I'm sitting next to the dresser and here's the table. Like no place to move. Um, I am zonked. So I put some Motivate doTERRA um, roller ball oil on my wrists and over my heart and the back of my neck. I got my diffuser going up there. I've got Motivate in there and I've got Lime as well. So both are very uplifting and I feel a little bit more motivated to be perfectly honest. So I um, picked up some things from Party City recently. Cards and wrapping paper and different um, gifting supplies. So I'm going to go through my gift um, what do you call it? Gift. I want to say gift closet, but it's not a closet. It's a drawer. It's full of... Let me just show you. How about that? So it's this drawer that's filled with tissue paper and bags and bows and cards and all the things. Um, usually this is organized, but I had a few incidences where I needed to put gifts together quickly. Um, and I've left it a giant mess. So I recently... This is the... Um, paper that I got from Party City. We got a new Party City in our uh, town and we went in. Um, I've got this roll here. Um, I typically have been putting the rolls underneath my dresser because these are too long to go in the drawer. So that's a place that I can tuck them for now. And this bag has lots of cute supplies that I just couldn't pass up. <laughs> um, oh, and wow, this is not Party City. This is actually Dollar Tree. See, this is why I need to organize. This is like folders and stuff. <laughs> okay. Party City bags up on the table. But anyways, this is what I'm working on right now. I picked up some of these um, cards at uh, Party City. And they were, I think, a dollar each? I'm not, I, I'm fairly certain they were 99 cents or a dollar. Um... We meant to give this one to Grandma for her birthday. I might just set that one out. Um, and this one as well. Her birthday is already gone. But anyways, a lot of these are just blank and will make for nice cards to give to people. Um, you know, just to send them a little whatever. Okay, so this drawer is all organized. Everything's put away. Um, I generally have all of my bags just in a very graduated form, like smallest to largest. I have this one on top because um, a friend of mine is having a baby next week. Um, well, she's due next week, and I have a gift that I need to get to her. So, anyways, this was the bag that I bought for that. So, everything is all organized and put away. I just have to stick the wrapping paper underneath the dresser. Okay, so now I'm going to go through our binders and pull out all of these kind of loose papers, things that we aren't going to use or need for the upcoming school year. I got a pile started here um, of, you know, just all the random bits and bobs that I found that need to be put away or they're for homeschooling. They're kind of, you know, I've just got a pile, y'all. <laughs> um, and I found, oh my gosh, I bought these at... The Dollar Tree. Are these not the cutest little sticky notes? I am so in love with these. The Dollar Tree. So, so stinking cute. And, um, 
these little thank you notes. I picked these up at oh, Party City. And again, these I think were like a dollar or two. Um, and I got these for Aubrey so that she would have thank you notes on hand. Um, people give her things and take her on ex different experiences. And I want her to start um, having her own set of thank you notes to give to people. Um, one of our things in our homeschool curriculum, part of our language arts, actually suggests that kids uh, write thank you notes at least monthly, and um, so this is a little jump start on that. So I moved here to the floor. Um, I am working on all this. <laughs> um, I have my chairs are recovered in Buffalo Check. When we moved in, I was like, I need Buffalo Check. See right there. Um, and there, and there. But uh, having kids, and when they were a lot younger, um, they really destroyed the fabric. So, anyways, um, I had purchased uh, this remnant to put on my chairs. I don't really need it right now. So, I am going to get this into my little craft cupboard here. It's kind of bulging at the seams. So, I may just kind of go through this and pull out anything that I don't need. I've done this several times. Um, I used to love to craft and scrapbook and all the things, but I've just, I don't really that much anymore. So I'm just going to kind of quickly go through, see if there's anything I can pull out that the kids would like. Um, and yeah, and this bottom one, this is all just fabric. Um, this, oh, I love this fabric. It's this gorgeous, like, silky um, buffalo check, and it's kind of a really light tannish, goldish, taupey color. It's so gorgeous. My, um, I used to use this for curtains. So I'm thinking I actually might reuse this for the fall and do curtains in my dining area. I might. So anyways, it's all the fabric, all the things. So yeah, I didn't get rid of anything. <laughs> so now I've got um, my homeschool supplies. The bags are blowing because I got the fan here. Um, and I'm going to go through and put as much as I can just in this little blue bin. I picked this up from Walmart and I'm going to do a haul of all of our school supplies. But for now, I'd like to try and reduce the amount of bags I've got. Okay, so I've got the supplies kind of gone through and stacked a whole lot neater than they were. So I'll have room to walk through. This bag, um, I just love looking inside of it because I love these colors. This is like, oh, it's like this is our homeschool. Like hot pink, white, and this aqua blue. Oh my gosh, I love, love, love those colors. Well, friends, it's another day. <laughs> Um, I'm here in the classroom yet again. I feel like a lot of the progress I've made has been slowly diminished. Um, part of it is the kiddos just love to come in here and play Legos. And I'm working on getting the Legos out of this room because the kids can't seem to keep them cleaned up. And we're going to just have to do a whole new system for that. So their job today is to clean up all the Lego. I have so much recycling and thrift store stuff on the table. I, it's just, I make one step forward and three steps back. But we're going to plow ahead because school starts next week and I've got to get this done. So I'm going to turn you around and share with you what I'm working on today. Okay, so here is what I'm going to work on right now. This is Aubrey's workbox system. Um, I am going to go ahead and peel all of the labels off of her work boxes. And then I'm going to go through each box and pull out all the old worksheets and curriculum and store all of the curriculum um, for other years. I'm assuming we'll probably use it at some other point. Um, so for instance, science, we did Apologia last year. Um, Apologia, their science curriculum is amazing, but it really felt it was a lot of it was just over Aubrey's head. She was six and seven last year, and honestly, it was, I just feel like it was made for students who are much older. We did do the junior um, notebooking system from Apologia. Um, I don't know. It was, 
it was all right, but it was really, I just think it was, it was too much for her. So, um, maybe another year we'll look at it. We didn't even like fully complete it to be perfectly honest because it was just so much and there was so much reading like within the textbook and stuff. Um, and it was hard to just make it really engaging. I, I tried really hard. Um, but I don't know. So it's a great curriculum. I just don't think it was suited for her age. Um, let's see. Math, we did Matthew C. I think that's already put away. Reading, we did all about reading. And for spelling, we did all about spelling. I loved all about reading. It was a great program. We'll probably definitely do it with Colt, but we are doing something different this year. So anyways, I'm going to go through all of this get things recycled and then put away. and I'm going to go ahead and put the resources away. So this is a little hard to see because the angle that I'm at, my room is so small. But this is the IKEA KLAC system, and each of these um, cubbies is designated for a different subject, as you can see. So we're not exactly doing taught school anymore, but I really don't think I'm just going to relabel that this year. Um, this will just be Colts for kindergarten. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get our resources put back into these cubbies. So this is our extracurricular, um, cubby, and I think I'm going to actually use this for a lot of my schedule, or a lot of the things that we're going to loop. Um, so some, so these things won't, each of these different subjects won't be done every day. They will be done like a certain point during the week and they'll just kind of rotate on a loop. Um, so I just have a binder here of extracurricular um, information. I've got some art books, a health book that we're going to go through. Um, in this bin I've got some watercolors and our sign language flashcards. And then I think there's like a card game in here. Yeah, card game. And then this is Aubrey's art binder and it's just filled with all kinds of art projects that we hope to do this year. So this bin, I still need to get like um, sketch pads and some watercolor paper and some other watercolors and stuff and paint brushes and all that will just kind of go in this little bin. But this is basically our extracurricular cabinet. So this is the math bin up above and man, like everything is just jammed in here so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of go through this I can see some papers in the back that need thrown away and just try and organize this a little bit better okay so the math area is all tidied and cleaned up um, I put all the Matthew C items in here so we have like the test booklet the instructor guide and the DVD I did go ahead and get rid of um, her student workbook that was pretty much all filled out and if we do do Matthew C again with Colt I'll just need to buy him a new workbook. Um, we have this fractions manipulative set uh, that my mother-in-law got us and a couple of these curriculum books. These are just filled with all sorts of general curriculum, but we use them a lot for math, so they will just reside in here. This bin has a lot of flashcards and our math manipulatives. Um, some of those, what are they called? They're like the triangle ruler things. And then our rulers just here on the side. So this is the science bin. It's kind of driving me crazy. I don't know why, but it is. Um, I have a lot more stuff to actually add to this, but I am going to do a curriculum um, video of all of our curriculum, 
as well as a homeschool haul. So I'm not going to put all of that stuff away right now because I'll just have to get it back out. So what I've done is I just have this general science binder and this is kind of my teacher binder. I have like paper and um, some different worksheets in here for myself. In this book bin, I had originally gotten book bins for my bookshelves here, but they are they were way too deep for the bookshelf. The bookshelf, as you can see, is pretty narrow. Um, so it does fit in here. Um, it doesn't serve a whole lot of purpose, to be perfectly honest, but right now I just ended up putting the books that we will use for some of our unit studies. I had forgotten that I even got some of these books. I got them last year at Ollie's, which, oh my gosh, if you have an Ollie's around you, you need to go there for your homeschooling. Um, they have so many incredible resources. So we're going to do a human body unit and a space unit, and these are the books that I have on hand that will go with that. Um, I have a couple more books in here. This one is all about animals, and then this is actually mummies, and um, I got it from the library. Uh, they were giving away, I got like 80 free resource books for homeschool last year, and that was one of the books I picked up, but it has like actual pictures of mummies in it, um, and it's really kind of freaky, so I have just set it aside in here so that the kids don't get into it, because they do actually go through a lot of our book bins and actually just read some of these reference books. Um, so yeah, I have just have that in there. Um, this animal book, I could always uh, put it on the shelf in our science bin, um, which is on the other side. See, I have these bins labeled with the books that are inside of them, and we have one for one for animals so I might just stick that in there just to free up some space because I know I'll have a lot more resources that will be going in here but for now it's just gonna stay there so this shelf is a hot mess and this is the taught school um, book <laughs> the taught school shelf basically our kindergarten shelf at this point so I'm gonna go ahead and get this worked through um, I don't know, some of these things might be a little too young for him at this point, so I'll pull that stuff out, and I do have a lot more resources that will go in here, so I need to organize this a whole lot better. So here's everything laid out. Um, I did go ahead and get rid of a couple of things that had been really kind of filled out. Um, this book right here is just filled with, it's a under the sea sticker book, and a lot of it is filled out, but there are tons of stickers still left, so I don't know if I'll keep that in there. Um, I maybe just, I don't know, have them do it now. Everything's really tight in here, and I do have other resources to put in here, so I may have to rework this system, but for now at least it's organized and all gone through. And here is the geography. Um... So not too much to organize in here, but I'm going to go ahead and go through it anyways. I've got a couple resources to put away, but it'll largely just look like this. Okay, so I pulled a couple things out. Um, these books right here can go up in our USA and Canada bin. This is uh, bin will also um, function for history this year. Um, that's something that we are incorporating. Last year we did geography and a lot of map work, um, but... Our geography will built, is automatically built into our language arts program, so I don't need like a total just separate geography bin, so I may, I hadn't really planned to do this, but I may relabel some of my binders here and just add history onto this. We'll see. We'll see how, how far I go, but I've got a lot of history stuff to add into here, so that's what the whole open space is for. Okay, so you've already seen my craft bin earlier in the video. Um, let me show you planning. So this is kind of my personal drawer or bin. I need to go through all of this because um, I guess I don't remember everything that's in here and some stuff may be able to go. Probably not because I really do kind of just siph siphon through all my stuff um, and hang on to only things that I love. I've kind of gotten into that groove. These are some of my Erin Condren covers. Um, Ooh, folders. Lots of folders. <laughs> um, a binder. Oh, hmm. I love this binder. This actually used to be my, it's showing up blue, but it's very gorgeous purple. And it's a little, is it sparkly? I don't know. It's a little bit textured, but that used to be my Scentsy binder, actually, when I had my team. And then, I don't know what all this stuff is. Oh, 
you want to know okay can i just show you guys something okay so i have been following emily lay for like a hundred years and she actually used to have all of these planning pages and i need to start using these in my life but she had like goals and ideas and i bought all of these projects brain dump there's one that's thank you notes why am I not using this? Okay, you are gonna get pulled out and start to be used because that's amazing. So I'm gonna go through this, I think, and just kind of figure out all of this stuff later. Okay, and then the last bin is language arts. Oh, all of the things. So this is a before shot. Um, we have lots of resources in here and it's time to just kind of go through okay so here's how this bin all turned out this book right here uh, my mother-in-law actually let me use this she homeschooled my husband and all of my brother-in-law and sister-in-laws um, and she used this book to kind of like show her the ropes of homeschool I loved reading through this and like reading her notes in the margins and stuff it was just a treasure so I'm probably gonna go through that again um, this year as well um, this is my language arts binder I think I'm just gonna put my big language arts um, teachers manual thing inside of here because this bin is like really full um, again I've got one of these book binders in here I'm not super loving this being in here it's kind of a little wonky um, but I really just don't have anything else to put in here and um, these are the resources that we used last year and I can read by myself that was a book that I had when I was a kid um, and I don't know if we'll probably still work through that a little bit. Aubrey is a really, really good reader, so she doesn't need it. So I could kind of put it on the bookshelf, but it's such an old book, I don't want it to get damaged. So I've got it in there. In here I've got some of these um, dry erase sheets, and we've got this this board. Um, I think we got that from the Target Dollar Spot a long time ago. It's to help practice your letters. We've just got some little writing things like this, dry erase things, um, to practice words. We've got sight words, uh, what do you call it? Flashcards. Yes. So that's the language arts bin and I am officially finished going through all of these bins. So this big box is holding posters. My mother-in-law found this at the thrift store for $5 and it has all of these like gorgeous posters. And I was so excited that she picked this up for us. Excuse, like, this is like <laughs> all the recycling and garbage. Oh my gosh. Um, but so I'm, I open this up and um, there's like this planning pack in here, like a resource pack. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this in the science drawer. I can't keep this big box in my classroom. Like, my class is just way too small I don't have the space um, there's a couple posters in here that I know we won't use like this Barfield one I don't think it was even originally part of this pack um, so I'm gonna pull that out and I'm not sure about some of these math posters and stuff like this just this is not my style this is I don't know not my thing and I don't I again like I I don't have something is going here I don't have any wall space no to use for these posters however I really want to put away um, these world posters and then there was um, oh what do you call it a solar system poster so I'm gonna go through these pull out what we're not gonna use and then redonate those and find a spot for all of the posters that we will use Okay, so I actually put those posters right here behind our big Kalax system. Um, I paper clipped them all together. I kind of pulled the this thing out a bit. Um, and behind there, I've also I've stored posters there last year. So this was one that is still back was back there. I don't know what I'm gonna actually do with this. I just loved the rainbow pattern. 
the other side says welcome to whatever class room blah 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 I'm not ever really gonna need that side but I really like this and figured at some point I might be able to use that so I did buy that last year this pack of stuff I've had for literal ever since Target was in Canada and I got it for just like a dollar or two um, it has the cutest little decorations excuse my feet um, but I think I, I hung some of them up last year for Valentine's Day. I think I'm going to hang some up in our classroom this year. So this is the rainbow. Um, there's this hot air balloon. This sunshine. And these like punch out. And then this cloud. I figure why am I like hanging on to this stuff if I'm not going to use it. So I'm thinking I might hang them from the ceiling up there. Um, a lot of that stuff can come down. Um, it's just kind of there because my room is trashed. So the last thing was this big uh, calendar thing where you like, you know, Velcro dot the dates or whatever, but it's so big. I don't have a spot for it. And we had ended up using, we had ended up using a calendar that I got from Target last year and it's just on the back of the door. It's kind of really crinkled right now. I don't know what we're going to do for a calendar system. I'll have to figure that out. But, um, so I think I'm going to put that poster back. I spent $8 on it. I thought it was only like three. And then when I got to the register, it was a lot more. Um, but I don't, oh, there's like this, this little ball thing was being blown by the fan and I thought it was some kind of bug. Um, so I don't know. So I'm just going to put those posters back behind the KLAC system and yeah so the, the more I go the more the room is getting a disaster because I'm pulling out so many things that need to be recycled and thrown away like look at that pile it's terrible so and it's getting really hot it's like 80 some degrees in my house I've got the fan on um so, I don't know. I don't know how much more I'm going to be able to film. I have a feeling this video is pretty long as it is. Um, and I am not going to be done anytime soon. So, I may just wrap it up in the next little bit here. If you want a completed room tour, I do have what my room will ultimately end up looking like at the end of all of this. But, um, and I'll link that like in an iCard. So, yeah. Anyways, for now, I'm going to put those posters back and on to the next thing. <laughs>